Hello and welcome ladies and gentlemen, my name is D Sparrow's Journey and this is Total Tank Simulator. On the previous episode, I was fighting in the main campaign and I struggled a huge lot if you haven't noticed. My knowledge about tanks doesn't go beyond World of Tanks, so on this one I decided to pause the campaign for one episode and go with a sandbox. Now on the sandbox, normally we did this with tabs as well, we put as many units on the battlefield as we can just to test out the game and my computer. We will definitely do that, but I want to try and learn a little bit more about the game itself. Considering that they have different kind of stats, putting the same number on each side will most likely reveal what is the stronger unit. So I'm going to put over here, let's see. Let's see how many can we put. We're going to go crazy. We're going to start going crazy. The max I've put in the main campaign so far is something like... 30. I don't think I've ever been beyond 30. 50 against 50. Let's see how the game behaves. Let's see how my computer behaves. There are a lot of them. I don't think I ever had these many in the game so far. We are having our frames per second decreasing immensely. I was running this game just fine with 100 frames per second. It's currently at 40. And once they start shooting all, it's gonna get messy. It's gonna get really messy. With the tree physics and whatnot, 36 frames per second. Could be worse, could be worse. We have the blue team and the yellow team. It would be cool to have the same color for each uh, unit on the same on the same team, on the same faction. I think that's something that they could change. Let's see who wins this. It will most likely be the Soviets, which is the yellow team, because they have the stronger light tanks. These ones are trying to flank, and rightfully so. We are destroying all this forest. Can we decide which kind of map can we play on? That would be interesting. Look at this! The same number of tanks from the very start, and look at how many light tanks on the Soviet side survived. This just shows how different they are, even though they are the same type. I would like to ask you, how many more should I put? But I'm gonna put one line over here. 150. Alright, 20 frames per second. This just reveals how bad it will be if I just fulfill one, or maybe even the two sides of the formations. This is a little bit insane. Mm-hmm. 10 frames per second. Still doable. Almost looks like I'm watching a Photoshop picture one after the other, but still doable. This just reveals how hard it will be if I just put as many as I can. It's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. It's so much calculation. They need to calculate where can they drive, where can they shoot at, where are they the targets to shoot at. But uh, it seems actually that the Germans are winning. Well, I put 50 more of them, so that's uh, no surprise, I guess. Which means that 50 more of the German tanks beyond what the uh, Soviets have is enough to win a war. I mean, it's still not over, hold up. It's still not over. The fact that the Soviets are yellowish kind of deceives the number of them. Alright, now, yeah, the Germans have more, I believe. But uh, we never know. It seems that this battle will have no end, but look at the destruction. From a distance, they almost look like freaking skeletons, but... <laughs> yeah. A lot of metal. This is the point where we're gonna go crazy. I don't know what I'm trying to prove over here. Yeah! Yellow tanks? What's happening? I don't even dare to move my mouse because that will totally destroy the panorama camera. How will the battle end? I'm pretty much sure how is it gonna end. One frame per second, guys.
Jesus Christ, I thought that it would never end. Soviets won, Germans nothing. I'm gonna put the artillery that can reach the farthest. So I'm gonna put some FK artillery over here. Oh man, this is gonna take me a long time to fulfill. Eight hundred on one side, eight hundred on the other side. It's not moving. This is gonna take a while. Now, I would like to do something and experiment something with landmines as well. So, to spice things up, I'm gonna put a full line of landmines over here. And this is gonna fulfill the whole square on both sides. Other than that, everything else will be fulfilled with heavy tanks. It's gonna take some time to draw. <laughs> One thousand tanks, heavy tanks, together with some mines at the front, against another thousand tanks. It's gonna be, uh, ten hours processing time over here again. I have nothing to do today anyway.
This was probably one of the worst ideas I've ever had. Putting mines in front of that huge amount of tanks. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. My name has been This Battle's Journey. This was the sandbox mode into Total Tank Simulator. Have a good day and uh, have a good time. Bye bye.